Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you all of the controls, all of the main controls that we have in BandLab. So just to recap from the last video, we've got here, we have our arrange window. So this is where your tracks will be. As you can see, I've already imported two loops. I will show you how to do that in the next video. On the left hand side, we've got our track list. So you can see I've got my guitar line um, and I've got some beats in here as well. And up the top, we have our control panel. The main controls that you're going to be using are in this little section here. So first of all, we've got the play button. I'm just going to click that. And you can hear that the loop uh, that I've put in is playing. You've got um, your time here. So as you can see, as this is played, this has roughly been about five seconds. Um, here, this is your cursor actually. So you can actually hold the top of it and drag it wherever you like as well. You've got your fast forward and your rewind. A feature I find particularly useful is this undo button here. So if I've recorded something or I've put, moved something um, that I don't like, I can always click the undo button. There you go, that's something I didn't want from earlier um, and it will bring it back for you. Over here, we've got this little feature which tells you the key that the project is in. This is actually quite useful when you're trying to look for loops that are in the same key. So the loops that I've imported, it's automatically told me that it's in the key of D minor. You've got your BPM over here. So BPM is basically your tempo, so how fast or how slow the track is. If you hover over it, you'll see a cursor come up and you can actually drag it up and you can see the project changing. So it's going faster there speeding up and now it's speeding down you can and then you have to click adjust for your loops you can also type it in as well over here you've got your metronome this is basically a, a click that is really useful if you're going to be recording so you can turn it on and off just by clicking on the metronome button and if you go to the arrow, you've got your settings as well, but we're not going to worry too much about that now. This is the overall volume for your project. So you can turn it down by sliding it and turning it up as well. The last two things that I wanted to show you today is the mute and the solo button. These are two very useful functions in BandLab. We've got the M here. This basically stands for mute. And this basically means if you click mute and if I play my track, you will not be able to hear the top guitar line. So it's muted it, so you can't hear it. And you take it off, and now you can hear the guitar line again. Alternatively, if you click the S, this stands for solo. What this does is now you can only hear the guitar line. And it's muted everything else in the track. So have a go, just play around with these sort of top buttons up here and get used to them.